Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com. Today I want to talk to you about an article people were sending me about how you need to accept mediocrity. Now they didn't word it that way. They said you need to accept being middle class and just resolve yourself to know that the rich are going to get richer and the poor are going to get poorer. And this is their whole mentality. But the overarching theme was to accept and resign yourself to mediocrity to not raise up to a higher level, to not even expect that you could in the first place. And then some professing Christians were piling on in this poverty and failure mentality with things like, well, you gotta be content, you know, and all things be content. Completely misunderstanding what contentment's about. Contentment's not, not about resignation. It's not about accepting failure and mediocrity and giving up. And that's what most people seem to read the word content as being. No, contentment comes from you know your creator who has freely gives you all things to enjoy. You know him who owns all things. So you don't have to fret or be worried or be anxious because your faith is in him and he'll give you freely of anything. And you can have an abundance because you know him who is abundance the source and supplier of all things are God. But meanwhile, people are accepting and resigning themselves to whatever they have. And just a little I have is enough, as long as it's me and the Lord. Well, it's not you and the Lord because you don't trust him. You don't have faith in him. You're not expecting and living in the abundance that he wants you to live in. And look around, look around the universe. Things grow, things expand, things, the only thing that's not growing and expanding is things that are dying or things that are dead. When Jesus came across the fig tree, it wasn't bearing fruit. What happened to it? It was cursed and it shriveled up and died. Why should you as a person live as that fig tree not bearing fruit? Because you're then choosing cursing. You're choosing death and cursing when God sets before you life and blessing. Why not choose life and blessing? I'm not telling you to be anxious over things. Material things don't matter. You'll get plenty of them. Don't fret over them. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. I'll give you a little story about contentment. When I was a teenager, I worked at a fast food restaurant and I was fretting over my wages. I wasn't getting paid enough and what am I going to do? And and I just heard in my spirit that word that John the Baptist gave people who came to him about being content with your wages. Now, I didn't take that as, oh, just accept that you're going to have little and don't worry about it. You'll never get a raise. You just got to be accepting of mediocrity. What I took that as to know God will provide. God will make a way. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I'll be content. No need to be anxious or worrying or fretting over things when God will freely give me all things. And what happened is later that day, I got a raise. I didn't ask for it. I didn't beg for it. It just came out of nowhere because I was content. I knew fully confidently in faith that God was going to provide and he did. This is where many people fail. Many people choose instead to go the faithless route, the doubt route, the unbelieving route and not have faith in God and just accept the way things are as being the way they're fated, their life is supposed to be, it's predetermined this way. And they just gotta accept it, which is not the case. It's never the case. It's only that way because you have allowed it to be that way and because you haven't chosen blessing and life. Don't worry about things and if you don't have enough at the time, but also don't feign being content, which really is just you're covering your shroud your cloak for accepting failure and giving up on life and giving up on God, not having your faith in God. Because Jesus said, have faith in God. Then you can speak in this mountain and say, be thou removed, be thou cast in the sea. And if you don't doubt in your heart and you believe those things that you say shall come to pass, you shall have whatsoever you saith. That's what God gives you. There's no limitation. He's abundant. You don't need to be limited. You don't need to expect limitation. You don't need to resign yourself to what the world expects. And don't listen to people telling you to, I'll just give up. Just, just 
Except where you are. That's good enough. Good enough? When you serve the Almighty, the Unlimited One? But you're accepting good enough? Does that make any sense? Don't let people rob you and, and push you into choosing death and cursing. When equally set before you, and this is your choice, God isn't making the choice for you, but equally set before you is life and blessing. My friend, choose life and blessing. Don't give up. Yes, be content. You don't have to be anxious about things. Be content with whatever you have because you know the unlimited God who will freely give you of all good things to enjoy. My friend, I pray this is a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.